guys and welcome back to my channel thanks so much for tuning in for another video i know it's been a little while i've been under the weather so thank you guys for being patient with me not quite 100 percent, but i am getting there for the most part so this video is a follow-up on the hair that was sent to me by better length hair company they sent me clip-ins just in time for my birthday a couple weeks ago and I want to just show you guys or share with you guys my experience with this hair and just my thoughts, my final thoughts about this hair um, before I move on to something else. <laughs> These are clip-ins that I am wearing. And if you have not seen my initial uh, thoughts and review, just click on the link above and you'll see that video. So I have some notes here because I don't want to miss anything so i'm just going to go over the pros and the cons but before i get into the pros and cons i just want to show you currently uh the hair at its dry state um it's dry it's frizzy but it's still very very soft at the same time and i like the messy look i like the the, the big frizzy um looks undone type of look because it just looks more realistic against my hair so i kind of like it in this state but <clears throat> i will show you how it looks wet um how it looks when it's styled and when it's um when it's wet so i want to start with the uh, pros first <clears throat> so these are so these are some of the notes that i wrote down for the pros this hair has a beautiful silky texture lightly misting this hair with water warm water cold water i prefer warm water and you have to excuse me because i have a a, a hauls i have a cough drop in my throat in my throat <laughs> in my mouth because i'm coughing so excuse that but you lightly miss this lightly misting this hair will bring it back to that uh, luster it'll bring back to that shine that bounce that silkiness what I love about this hair is the density of this hair. I love the thickness of this hair. Um, I definitely love the curl pattern of this hair. And I just love how it mimics my own hair. So if my hair were to grow out this big and this length, um, I think my hair will look exactly like this. This hair loves a thick uh, conditioner, leave-in conditioner. A lot of people do put gels on their hair, especially curly hair. I highly recommend that you don't put gels on this hair although you can but i would recommend a conditioner because it keeps your hair very soft and it keeps it from getting matted and tangled so your hair is always soft and it's always conditioned so i found that using a good leave-in conditioner a good thick leave-in conditioner leaves my hair defined it clumps my curls makes my hair very soft and shiny and bouncy a lot of movement a lot of body so i find that a, a good leave-in conditioner um is 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 needed for this hair as opposed to a gel that can dry and tangle your hair and mat your hair and white residue all in your hair so um i don't recommend gels but this is the conditioner this is the tgin miracle repair protective leave-in conditioner with black honey and coconut oil now typically this is not a conditioner i would even put on this type of a hair because this is one of my i would say upscale conditioners but this hair loves this conditioner it clumps my curls it defines my curls it gives it shine and body and movement and without that gel and without that gel cast so this is again from tgin and i think i've shown i've shown this product before because i did a whole video review on these products in, in this particular line for my stylers i started using the flaxseed styling line from natural club so i use their flaxseed edge control gel and i also use the flaxseed gel curl custard and just to be able to blend my natural hair in with the clip-ins. So it does not take much to uh, rehydrate this hair, refresh this hair. Again, just a spray bottle, just some regular water, warm water, cold water, what have you, is enough. Now for me personally, I, when I put my clip-ins in, I like to put them in individually. And I do not... Um, brush i do not comb i do not define all of the hair together into one sleek look unless i'm actually going for that very sleek look i like the hair to be big i like it to be full so i do not 
get all the put all the tracks in my hair and then start using my dimming brush to um clump all my curls together the reason why i don't do that is because when this hair dries and or when you're ready to take it out it can become a tangled mess when all the hair is now intertwined and you're trying to un uh, you're trying to detangle it just to separate the tracks and get the tracks out that can be um very damaging to the hair um, cause a lot of shedding and a lot of you know pulling and of the hair and all that type of stuff you don't want to do that you don't want to knot the hair up by doing that speaking of detangling um when it's time to detangle i only do that when it's time to co-wash my hair so i try to lessen the detangling as much as possible with this hair i do not like to put tools on this hair every time i have to do this hair um because of shedding i did not seal my wefts because i can't really find the right product i want to put on this hair to seal it um, everything is just so toxic and I just don't really want those chemicals in anywhere near my scalp to be quite honest so I figured if I just lessen the detangling as much as possible then that would um, prolong the life of this hair um, I want to try to get at least a year out of this hair and it is possible and I did do it before with another set of clip ins that I had I'm loving that it mimics my hair uh, texture my curl pattern the color is off just a little bit because i have a little bit more brown in my hair and this hair is a little bit um darker but um once i do the blending it matches perfectly okay so now for the cons it's only one so i'll say the con of this hair the only con of this hair is the shedding the shedding is horrible with this hair i just have to be quite honest if you plan on getting this hair, I would say seal the whips. That's the only way you're going to limit and minimize as much shedding is just to seal the whips. Now, me personally, I can take care of mine enough where I don't have to do that. But when it is time to detangle this hair or when it's time to style this hair, even just running my uh, hands through the hair like a, like a prayer method, it comes out a lot of hair a lot of shedded hair now it doesn't actually do that while the hair is dry so much i noticed that but when this hair is wet balls of hair just all on my hands and it's just like uh at night i just take it and put it in two big ponytails or pineapple and i'll put a bonnet on let it down spritz with water everything just falls back into place with this hair so that's the only con is just the shedding. Um, I'm sure it's an easy fix and I can seal the wefts as I want if I want to, but I just I just don't want to. I don't want um, the toxic of whatever glue or what whatever that stuff is. I don't want that anywhere near my my scalp. I don't want any irritation, so I'm not even gonna fool with that. And everybody thinks that this is my hair when I go out when it's styled of course when it's styled and I have it perfectly blended everybody thinks this is my hair and I got so many compliments so many compliments I'm loving this hair and I'm just gonna keep continue to take care of it for as long as I can I just want to just give you just some good news about this hair I know I've seen videos and people had bad experiences but everybody experiences is not the same so some people had bad experience some people had a good experience I had a good experience so no problems over here all except for the shedding that's the only thing yeah i highly recommend this hair and i highly recommend the company i had zero issues from from customer service to the time i got my hair to the time i wore my hair until now i have no problem so it is what it is this hair is going to shed it's going to do what it's do that's how weaves work so so with that said i hope you guys enjoyed watching my feedback and my follow-up so I just realized I did all that talking and did not show you guys what the hair looks like wet. <laughs> so I just totally ended the video without doing it. So let's do that right now.
So this is the finished outcome of the wet look and how I blend my hair and how it looks when it's wet, how it looks when it's damp. It's not drenched wet. It looks like I use a lot of water, but I really didn't because it sprays out a very fine mist. So I just did the conditioner and then just the items that I showed you, that was it. That's how I blend. That's how I style. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my follow-up and just my final thoughts on the Better Length Hair clip-ins. So if you liked it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's just Janine. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.